Hi everybody, this is Felicia. Hi, I know I've been missing in action here, <laughs> but today I am doing a layout here of my son and the day he told me he was actually going to be joining the military. Doesn't quite match up with the picture, but it was something that um, I just thought I'd put in here. I remember when he did tell me that he was going to be joined in the military and I had some questions for him of course and he was excited about doing it and so um, I was kind of like okay all right that's that's a good thing okay so you of course you know you, you get the four you, you, the uh, 411 and you try to give him all the information that he needs or you think he's going to need um, in joint making a decision as as big as joining the military so that was um, something on that. So uh, what I'm using here is because I did not have any patriotic papers in my stash. I went and I had to go get a few pieces here from a scrapbook store. And these few pieces are from Simple Stories and Doodle Bug. And the, uh, the red, white, and blue papers that you see at the top there, those are from my stash. Those are like uh, three by four cards. And then the acetate with these stars on it is from um, let's see Webster's pages that's where they're from um, so those little silver stars that you see are from um, the one of my freckled fawn kits from the past here um, and then you see me hold up another piece of paper from doodle bug um, with the United States flags on it I figured this would be a great um, layout to do with him in his military uniform and the flags and the country, of course, United States and background and everything. So I figured it would be a good um, layout to do. So now you see me um, trying to figure out if it looks right. <laughs> I take a pause there. And I'm like, you know, this is great because the flag takes pretty much precedence over the whole entire layout, um, a second to the picture. And it just, I just wanted to show that um, that he was proud to make that decision to join the military. Now, the stories that come behind <laughs> him joining the military, um, that's a different story. This, he, he was. Uh, after he got in there for basic training and everything, he was he was kind of uh, just kind of surprised a little bit there and wasn't expecting some things, but I did my best. And what I liked about this whole idea, he's in his uniform right now, it's kind of like a pre-military, is they kind of train him and get him ready prior to, because he was so young here in this photo, he was 18, I think it was 18, 19, he was 19 in this photo, and he you know, although he wanted to go and everything, he um, they had this program where you they pre-trained um, these guys for at least uh, four months. Um, but um, what happened was right here, I think it was three or four days, no, about a week or so after he had got ready to get started into the training and everything, he had to have his appendix out, which was the weirdest thing for this family. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> so that put him back um, a few more months, of course, and so he didn't get to go to basic training until February of the following year, which was fine. But um, he had to rest up a little bit. And it was the cool thing about the way they did the appendix is they did a laparoscopy. And um, that was where he only made three incisions, small ones, and that way he could get that out. Um, easily and so it won't make a big huge you know like back in the day where they used to slice you open completely you know which left you open to infections and things like that but he did really well with that surgery came through like with flying colors he um, was um, in good shape and everything and he had to heal up of course and all that stuff real good before he went for his um, examination and everything and all that stuff so because you know they examine him when they first join and then they examine him just before it's time for them to go into basic training which worked out perfect and they do examine every inch of them too so um, which I found kind of interesting that they even do that <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. But anyway, so um, I'm adding on some of these stars here from Doodlebug. Um, they're called, um, yeah, just stars. They're red, white, and blue stars. And then I have also later on add on some um, enamel dots, which are red, white, and blue. Of course, I wanted to keep this as patriotic as possible. So I'm adding those on. And let's see here. I think I was trying to figure out where I was going to put the title. So when I get ready to put the title down, um, the title is I use some Dear Lizzie Foam Thickers. They're white. And I didn't have any really good red, white, and blue, you know, uh, thickers. And so what I decided to do was um, take some of my Copic markers and color a few of the letters. And since mom was the easiest because it was more even, I could do red, white, and blue. I decided to do that. And of course, you know, I get them on there and everything, and 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 I realize that they're they're kind of the opposite direction, but it's okay. At that point, I'm like, you know what? This is patriotic. So I am proud of pretty much putting it down and getting it down there as it is. So so there you see me adding proud, and that's all in white. But then I put um, the mom, I add that on, and that's in red, white, and blue. So as you can see, it's I'm going backwards there. I put the, instead of putting the red M, I put the blue M first. So, but it's all right. So there you have it there. Getting that all down really good. And then I'm going to add some uh, lines here for some journaling, just a little bit of journaling. Explaining um, the feel, you know, when he first told me he was going to join the military, and that's pretty much it as far as um, this layout goes. I think I add some. Let's see, Studio Calico, Mr. Huey's white, and it's pretty much done. After that, so he is in the army, and. He was gone for a while. That was the first time he had ever been away from home for the six months that he was gone for basic training. And it was really nerve wracking for me a little bit because actually I think it was five months, but um, it was good. They had a little Facebook group there and then they took some photos of them all at the time. And, you know, I was like, well, where's the photos of my son? And I finally got the Facebook um, thingy there and I forgot what his... I, don't, I forgot what they call it, but we're the, the group of them to get together. But anyway, I forgot what that was called. So here you go. Here it is with all the stars, the stripes, the red, white, and blue. And I put on my glasses <laughs> so that I can look up close too as well. <sighs> so there you have it, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And take care. I am back in the loop. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.